Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. Would you let a, a very venomous snake just loose in your house? Maybe the rattlesnake, maybe a black mambo, the most dangerous snake in the world, some people think. Would you just let them out in your house and then live with it? Because no, we wouldn't. I sure wouldn't, and I don't think you would either. But that's what we do every time we live in strife. Every time you fighting with your husband and arguing for days, not talking to one another, it causes strife in your family. Every time that we argue with the children, the children's arguing with you. You are, say you have problems at your office, problems with family, and you're arguing and things are happening, you say the wrong things. That is a venomous situation that penetrates into your heart and soul and separates family. And then there's the, there's the strife that we have not only with family strife is very 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 poisonous to you but strife with among your own self in other words i'll have strife inside of me myself and i like should i have done that i don't know if i should have done that should i said that oh i feel so guilty i should have never done that then i start beating on myself thinking no i should have done that look what it's done i feel so bad and all of a sudden i'm striving within myself that strife within yourself falls right over onto your family you see strife is very very poisonous to you and the bible has lots to say about strife and it wants you to stay out of strife you've opened the door to devil to come inside rip your family apart rip you apart putting depression and and anger on you and frustration on you and your entire family and this is what the Bible says about it. In Proverbs 18, 6, it says, The lips of a fool bring strife. And in Proverbs 7, 17, 4, it says, Starting a quarrel is like letting water out of a bucket. You better stop it before it flows into strife. So I want you to know that stop the strife right now. Sometimes we just need to zip up our mouth and watch the attitude that comes out of your mouth when you speak. Is that really sparks and sparks that poisonous venom to somebody to say, why'd you say that? So watch what we say, how we say it, and bring God right into it. Stop it and pray over it right then and there. And stay out of strife. It's healthy for your body when you're not in strife. It's healthy for your for your um, for your whole personality continence. It's helpful for your joy. So stay out of strife for your peace, for your joy, for your family, for each other and for you. Amen and amen. Let me just pray for you because I think sometimes when we're in a lot of strife for long periods of time, it hurts our body. It gives us so much stress. We actually get physically sick from it. So let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, the strife has come over all these people because of the, um, the unknowns in their family, the depression, the, the stress coming upon them at work or not having lack of money, lack of funds. Lord, I pray for them and I command peace to just overwhelm them, that this peace that surrounds you is the peace of God and that this peace covers you, it holds you close and it keeps you full of peace in your heart, mind, body, and soul. I thank you, Lord God, that the that peace goes over you, joy comes out of you in Jesus' name. I command those bodies to be healed from nervous systems that are shot and, and your um, nerve endings are hurt and painful. So anyone who has shingles, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for muscles and for joints and ligaments all to line up to, to be perfectly whole and healed in Jesus' name. I command backs to be straight, spines to be straight in the name of Jesus, and that people are walking right up and straight in the name of Jesus, and their back pain has to leave now in the name of Jesus, because your bones are full and rich with marrow in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I go out and have a great rise and shine day. Remember, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Look me up. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.